Berg. What's up, everybody? It's the Pirate Stacker, and my guest today, the man himself, Mr. I.S. What's up, ladies and gentlemen, International Stacker here. You know that voice. I'm going to flip this around. I've got five questions for this guy. We've had a heck of a day, but I'm going to narrow it down to five things you wanted to know in a deep dive with International Stacker. So let me flip this bad boy around and let's get it going. All right. All right. So we're going five questions, five, boom. He doesn't know what they are. They are completely random and we are not going to discuss his search for Mrs. IS. And let's preface this with, he took me to a brewery <laughs> before this interview. I think he's trying to get me loosened up. Yeah. We get a couple drinks in him. It helps for <laughs> sure. So like a lot of people out there, I found your channel very early on and I love the entertainment prospect or, or the entertainment aspect of your channel sure uh, with that said your passion is stacking silver and gold yeah both yeah so being that you're a world-renowned well-traveled stacker what country has more stackers per capita what country looks at stacking as a way of life as opposed to a hobby so this is a two part answer. If you're talking silver, the United States. Why? Because most of Europe and a lot of other places around the world have what's called a VAT tax, a value added tax. So if you're stacking anywhere in the EU or the UK, automatically if you buy that silver bar, they're adding 20% tax to it. So it's hard to be a silver stacker um, in those countries. But what's popular there is gold. And across the Middle East is gold. Like what's normal in the Middle East is you'll get a family and uh, the head of their family will just head to the gold market uh, on payday and buy a gold bar and throw it in their safe. You know, so that's very common in, in the Middle East. That's very common in India. Um, and you know, there's a lot of rules in India because they're really trying to crack down on people stacking, so to speak, um, you know, with the normal excuse of corruption or this or that. So people start buying all this gold jewelry and different things to get around it. So. Um, kind of a, two answers there, but you know, the world knows the value of gold, okay? It's been money, real money, um, for thousands of years, and they know and respect silver, but the better buy overseas is going to be gold if you're in one of those countries that has the VAT, which is a, a, a large number of those countries. That's awesome. So, and it makes sense, because here in America, we got constitutional silver, we've got other other means of silver. So Morgans, all of those things. But uh, don't forget all these countries overseas had that too. Right, right. They, they had silver pre, pre 60s, pre 50s. It's just taxing, taxing, and right? And what happened 1776? No taxation without representation. Uh, <laughs> we, need, we need to keep that in mind because I feel like I get taxed on the bullion sites these days when I'm buying silver. Uh, that's excellent, thank you for that. Number two, a little bit more serious. Now you're a big dog. I, I know that as a channel content creator, my likes and what I watch in the community has become, uh, it's evolved. I watch different channels now than I used to watch before. Do you have any go-to? Is there a guy that you're just like, he's my homie, I like watching his content, or is there a channel where you're like, bro, I, I like what this guy does. Are you totally burned out on content? Here's what I'll tell you, like, <clears throat> Bit, my normal business has been good, which is good for me, enables me to stack and travel and bring you all crazy content. But because of that, especially because most of you might know or might not know, but I work in emergency management, so I basically go to disasters around the world. So for instance, I've been down here in Florida for three months for Hurricane Ian slash Nicole, and I put out a handful of videos uh, during that time. So it depends the situation the phase i'm at in my life and my career and if i'm on a disaster response versus like a disaster preparedness gig right because yes. if it's response very little time working 18 hours a day seven days a week blah 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 so right about now i'm really consuming very little content i might put on a podcast about money or the market or something while i'm driving or whatever um, but actually consuming content like i used to very rare now if I do have time and I'm doing something, I might pop into one of my boys. You know, I might see what Yankee Stackin's up to. I might see what Silver Dragons used to be Silver Baggins is up to. I might see what, um, uh, you know, Silver Heist is up to. A lot of these jazz, just another hour. A lot of these guys I met in real life. And you know, Pirate, 
Um, I gave, ladies and gentlemen, I gave him a special coin. I have a coin you can only get if you meet me in real life and you join the elite Crustacean Nation. Um, so I will be checking in on you from time to time as well. Yeah, that's the right answer. Pirate Stacker, you heard it here first. And we are going to check out that coin. It is super cool. Now, next up, you happen to be one of the few guys, and I've caught this because of your emergency management and such as that, and me naturally getting into stacking via prepping. Prepping. Are you a prepper, and is that a lifestyle for you? I'm a professional prepper. Like my job in emergency management and the type of stuff I do and why I'm called international stacker, I literally travel the world teaching governments, cities, states, private companies, whoever's willing to pay your boy, okay, how to prepare um, in a professional manner for wide scale disasters or disruptions to society and how to um, put things in place to mitigate or lessen the impact should a disaster occur. So basically you're available to the highest bidder. He's yeah. a gunslinger. It's the wild yeah. west yeah. out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. I love it. And of course, prepping's near and dear to me. Make sure you guys are being prepared before you spend all your money on silver and gold. I've literally helped spend hundreds of millions of dollars on prepping. Hundreds of millions. Now, unfortunately, that gear's not in my basement, but you know, you know, you know I've been doing a little bit here and there. Very cool. <laughs> That's super cool. All right. Still rolling on. I know that you love buying silver at a great deal and I mean, a great value. Didn't we just do that? Which we just did. And he scored. Literally, he went to my my side of town and he was like, what's in the safe? Show me your foreign stuff. And sure enough, he got it at Melt, which is bonkers. Hello. So he walks in, he shows me how to do it. And uh, that was very cool. But in general... Is there something you prefer to stack more than others, or is it purely what's cheapest and silver? You know, and this goes to one of my videos that if you're a brand new stacker, you should totally watch my five biggest mistakes, right? And my channel has something very in common with Pirate's channel to where we've recorded our entire journey. So you're gonna see the mistakes we made, so hopefully you don't make them. We're basically like your silver parents. Please don't make the same mistakes we did in life. <laughs> so. With that being said, you know, when I first started, I'd be like, oh, I want this, oh, I want that, I got this. And what I learned is if I simply buy the deals, I'll end up with everything I wanted anyway in the end. Because stacking's not a month thing, it's not a year thing, it's a multi-year. Example, I wanted some Morgans, but couldn't afford them when I first started uh, stacking. So I bought what's called coal Morgans, C-U-L-L, which means there's imperfections. So I had a bunch of coal Morgans. Then I ended up doing different stuff. I ended up at a coin shop in uh, Arizona. Shout out to Billy AZ Prospector, another stacker I met in real life. And I was buying Morgans there for $16 a piece in good shape. So the moral of the story is, take your time. If you're in it for stacking, buy the best deal because in the end, you're gonna end up with everything anyway. Love it, love it. Now here it is, number five. We've made it to the end. Normally, this I'm would be... I'm impressed you kept, you kept track of that. Uh, yeah, you know? yeah, we're, we're multi-talented. So, normally, I would ask something food-related. However, you are by far the most famous, biggest celebrity I have had a chance to sit down with. And that's saying something. But tell me who the biggest celebrity... I know you're doing work in disasters and this and that who is the biggest celebrity you've ever met in your life doesn't have to be stacking related but somebody that we would all know and uh and and who was that person look you know i'm just a guy on a journey around the world buying gold and silver so i appreciate the love you know you're acting a little bit like i'm the gordon ramsay of silvers i don't know <laughs> but uh, i appreciate the love um, biggest, you know, it depends. So in my work in emergency management, I have gotten to meet a lot of elected officials. Some people say they're heroes, they're famous. Some people are like, I hate politicians, right? So I've gotten to meet some uh, uh, multiple. I, I do got to inter interrupt here. Ron DeSantis, my bro, my homie, you have met the man. I've met, I've met uh, him and several other governors. I've met awesome. princes in the Middle East. Um, wow. I have met actors and musicians. I mean, uh, about a year ago, I was at an I Love the 90s concert and uh, got to uh, meet Coolio and uh, Naughty by Nature. Those guys, you know, some of the 90s, like 
uh, Vanilla Ice, those guys. You know, yes, you know, but, shout out Vanilla, we love them here. And I go to Comic Con every year, and I've done that uh, for quite some time with my dad and my little brother, like since the 90s, okay? So like I got to meet like the Game of Thrones cast and the Walking wow. Dead cast and stuff like that. You know, that's, so, yeah, so that's everybody. Yeah. But if you're a true celebrity like Mr. IS right here, it doesn't even phase you to hang out with other celebrities. You know what? I messed up. When you asked me the biggest celebrity I ever met, I should have said Pirate Stacker. I missed, <laughs> I, I missed that. I missed that cute card. Hey, thank you for five questions. This has been a lot of fun, and uh, we definitely appreciate you lending your star power to the Pirate Stacker channel. Pirate, I'm disappointed in you. You didn't tell anybody to smash your like button. Leave comments below. Help Pirate out. The more you interact with his videos, folks, the more it gets out to more people. And what I know about pirates is they need mates. Mates to go and be successful raiding the treasure. So become a mate of Pirate Stacker today, and I guess I'll say, catch you on the next one. All right, thank you, everybody. We will see you soon. Pirate out. Woo! <laughs>